Hi, I'm Heather Alley, Applications Expert with Imaginate Technologies. As a registered architect and experienced project architect in educational, commercial, and retail facilities, I'd like to share with you typical mistakes firms make when transitioning to BIM. Many firms start out using Revit on a project that has BIM as a requirement. These firms often grossly miscalculate the slope of the learning curve when introducing new technologies and workflows to their design team. Without a real commitment and an organized approach to training, workflow, and infrastructure improvements, especially for an initial project, teams end up failing and retreat seems like the only option. They end up reverting to their traditional CAD approach and outsource any required modeling in order to meet the project requirements. The interesting thing is that these failures aren't just taking place in small firms. Even large firms have been known to rely on one or two power users to train everyone else. If these power users are working on a project, it is difficult for them to focus on training everyone else and designing at the same time. They become unbillable, a very poor use of high quality talent. Simply because a designer knows how to use Revit does not make them an expert in standardizing content, styles, or implementing templates that work across disciplines nor do they necessarily know how to alter workflows, now vastly different to accommodate BIM. This lack of knowledge can impact quality and can have a crippling effect on the project. The other thing we find is that while people and processes may be excellent, no amount of commitment can overcome the problem of poor computing infrastructure. Slow CPUs, old server technology, and poor bandwidth guarantee frustration and relapse to old and inefficient processes. If you've suffered from these problems, you are not alone, and there is help. Our team at Imagine It will work with you to evaluate a project and spot what went wrong and identify those items that you need to change right away, setting a plan for success instead of failure. Our Health Check program allows teams to take back their confidence and succeed next time. Making a change to the way you do business demands attention and commitment. Adopting BIM is not a tactical decision. It is a strategic and fundamental change. It all boils down to commitment, a commitment to your people, process, and infrastructure. Commit upfront to staff training and making the required investment in technology so the strategy will have a great chance of success. For Imagine It Technologies, I'm Heather Alley.